hello guys and welcome to YouTube's for you so in the next two tutorials we will set up this wall climb animation functionality as you guys can see my character properly detect the ledge and perform the wall climb animation with various heights so there is no root motion used in performing all of the wall climb animation my character can properly perform the step up animation and there is no overlap with the ledge or even wall while performing the animation so let's get started guys so here is our default third person project and here is the required animation that I'm gonna use for wall climb so this is the animation I'm going to use in this tutorial. You can use any animation which has proper root motion enabled. For example, if I enable the root motion, animation is properly root motion. You can use any animation which have proper root motion. So now let's first create an animation modifier for extracting the root for extracting the root data into the curve and later we're gonna use that curve for performing our wall time animation I'm gonna create a new class search for animation modifier and call this extract root data like so now let's open our animation modifier and here we're gonna use the function on apply I'm gonna promote the animation sequence to a variable like so and then we're gonna create create a new curve add curve and animation sequence will be this the curve name will be so we're gonna use three curves for x y and z axis each axis is each axis values are applied on individual curves for example here is our curve name X axis and here is the new curve for Y axis and third for our Z axis. Like so. So the curve type will be float. Now let's apply the animation modifier. So I'm gonna go to the Windows animation modifier tab, and here is my extract root data modifier. Right click and apply modifier, and here you can see I have created three axes x, y, and z. Now let's create a new variable plot. Call this x axis previous x axis first frame value plot similarly y axis first frame value and z axis first frame value so on apply i'm gonna set these three variables individually for example here is my x-axis first frame value y-axis and z-axis now I'm gonna use the node get bone transform get bone pose
get bone location wait get bone pose for frame animation sequence will be this and the bone name will be root bone animation name will be root animation root bone name will be root and the frame will be zero extract root motion data will be true and I'm gonna split the struct split the transform and then split the location so here are my x y and z axis values I'm gonna set these variables over here so here are our three variables for first frame our setup now I'm gonna use for loop for extracting the root motion data for extracting the root bone data into curves and the first name will be zero last name the last index will be our get sequence animation sequence and get number of frames so the last index will be our total number of frames of animation now I'm gonna I'm gonna promote the index to a variable and then set key and search for add float curve key like so and the animation sequence will be this and the curve name will be first curve x-axis x-axis and the time will be my get time at frame index will be a frame will be my index of loop and here is my time and the value will be get bone pose for frame bone name will be root frame will be my index split the struct and here is my I'm gonna set in the setting up x axis value so I'm gonna grab my pause location x and subtract the x axis first frame value like so and set the value over here so here is my x axis curve is properly set up now let's check the result apply modifier the curve will be zero because there is no any there is no any movement in x axis now let's duplicate the same functionality for our remaining two curves I'm gonna copy all of these nodes and on complete I'm gonna execute the same functionality for my x-axis change the curve name for x-axis similarly location will be my y and the subtract the float from our y axis first frame value duplicate the same functionality for our third axis that will be our z axis Z axis and the bone pause for frame will be my Z location. Subtract the Z axis first frame value like so. 
So here is our animation modifier properly set up. Now I'm gonna apply modifier, and here you guys can see I have my proper curve set up for my root bone data. So here are my three curves are set up properly. Now let's open our character blueprint for setting up the client logic and I'm gonna go to my blueprints and third person here is my third person blueprint I'm gonna grab my jump action no. so let's grab our e key and I'm gonna sphere trace by channel get actor location get actor location add 90 units 90 in my z axis and get forward vector of my rotation multiply the forward vector with some constant like 90 here is my start and here is my end location for sphere trace sphere radius will be 10 and for duration so here is my sphere trace functionality multiply the trace will be 110 units in forward axis so if my trace does hit something then I'm gonna put a branch over here break the hit result and sphere trace if my trace hit something then I'm gonna again sphere trace and check the proper Z location for my character to hang. I'm gonna grab my impact point and 190 units in my Z axis and subtract the 90 units in Z axis. Now let's place a cube over here. So here is my both traces are set up properly. So if my second trace properly hit something, then I'm gonna break the hit result again and and create a new variable called wall climb. So if my second trace hit, does hit something then I'm gonna set the wall climb to true and for my I'm gonna restrict my move forward and move right movement when I'm gonna performing the wall climb animation. So if my wall climb is false then I'm gonna perform this functionality. like so now let's continue the remaining functionality I'm gonna grab my character movement and first set the movement set movement mode to flying and set the velocity set the velocity to zero and then I'm gonna move my capsule component 
more component to drag my impact point and subtract the 90 units in Z axis. Here is my target analytic location and for my rotation I'm gonna grab the impact normal of my fast trace make rotation from x axis and make the rotator break rotator over here x and y will be same and for my yaw I am gonna subtract the 180 in my yaw so now let's check the function result so here my character is properly moved to the specific point so now I'm gonna get my forward vector of my impact normal rotator get forward vector and multiply the forward vector with some constant like 50 and add the result over here like so So here you guys can see my character properly moved to the edge point of the wall. So here is my character grouping functionality is properly set up and in the next tutorial we will set up our animation blueprint and wall climb animation montage for performing the proper wall climb animation. So I hope you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and also you can support me on Patreon for making more videos and content and also you guys can access all the project files of our Patreon. Thank you guys.